Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Letter. Hello and welcome to something a little different today. So, a lot of you guys have asked me to cover Half Life on the channel or to feature the Combine in a Versus episode. This video is supposed to be a very basic primer to the universe, and if you enjoy it, perhaps I'll do a full replay of the game at some point and maybe even more breakdowns. I might also occasionally just do more one off lore videos of various universes. As always, however, don't worry, 75% of my channel channel's content will be Star Wars with Halo 2nd. Today, I'd like to talk about how the Combine, the interdimensional antagonist from Half-Life 2, successfully invaded Earth. It all started in the 2000s, when scientists at New Mexico's Black Mesa Research Facility accidentally opened a portal to another dimension known as Zen. Scientists of the very secret Black Mesa facility had actually long been visiting Zed, even taking back sample materials and life forms for study. However, on this one particular occasion, something known as a Resonance Cascade occurred, opening a different kind of portal, which allowed two-way travel and for the creatures within Zen to come to Earth. Various alien types launched a coordinated campaign against Black Mesa, and the facility was also set upon by government soldiers, looking to remove all evidence of the event. Eventually, Black Mesa scientist Gordon Freeman enters Zen, destroying Nylon, the creature which was maintaining the portal and organizing the invasion. The facility itself is destroyed, and there is evidence that the US military moved into Zen to neutralize any remaining hostile forces. However, this is only the beginning. Several important things are alluded to in the first game, which become even more prominent by Half-Life 2. First, Zen is a transitionary space between dimensions, and the forces within Zen from Half-Life 1 were in fact not originally from that dimension, with their attack on Earth not really aggression, but rather an avenue of escape. We also learn that the events of Half-Life 1 do not fully close the rift between dimensions, and that the Resonance Cascade caused more than just a local invasion, but also portal storms across the globe. These cause the attention of, and are eventually used by, the Combine, a massive empire which exerted its influence throughout several dimensions and universes. It's unclear how long it took the Combine to discover Earth, but once they did, they set forth to subjugate it. The timeline here is a bit fuzzy, but Half-Life 2 occurs some 20 years after Half-Life 1, and the Combine rule had been established on the planet for some time, but ultimately it's unimportant. Little is also known about how the Combine actually took Earth, however we know that the conflict was extraordinarily short, with humanity surrendering in 7 hours, hence a newspaper in Half-Life 2 referring to the conflict as the 7 hour war. Earth was most likely overwhelmed by the sheer size and power of the interdimensional empire. By Half-Life 2, Earth is guarded by only an occupation force, but the planet is still relatively easy easily subjugated. Obviously, a multi-universal empire would have vast resources at its disposal. The peace between the Combine Empire and humanity was negotiated by Dr. Wallace Breen, former administrator of Black Mesa. Breen's intentions are unclear, especially given his prior role with the organization. He may have orchestrated the entire invasion as some sort of plant for the Combine, although it appears that the Empire was not aware of Earth before the Rift's opening. Further complicating things is the presence of the G man and the influence that they exerted on everyone throughout the story. Regardless, it does seem obvious that without peace, humanity would have easily been wiped out. Of course, the Combine is able to fully dictate every aspect of the surrender and are in fully control of the planet, which they totally subjugate and enslave. Dr. Breen is given the role of Earth's administrator, though wields no real power. The Combine dominate the planet, draining the Earth's oceans, establishing local garrisons with massive structures like the Citadel, and controlling the lives of humans who are kept within major cities. They also create suppression fields and use nefarious technologies to physically and mentally transform citizens into subjects of the Combine, including Overwatch military units. The oppression is severe, freedom is all but removed, and the Earth and the lives of every human on it have become only a small cog in the Combine Empire. The suppression fields they've placed, which removes humanity's ability to reproduce, and of course, their willingness to commit genocide or mass murder means that the current humans alive on the planet represent perhaps humanity's last generation. By the time of Half-Life 2, the governments of Earth have fully collapsed, and the largest group opposing the Combine is the Resistance, made up of both humans and Vortigaunts. The war will certainly be an uphill one, but a major victory came with the Resistance's destruction of the City 17 Citadel. I'm absolutely positive we'll see how the conflict ends someday, right?